Welcome to the Stock Option Assassin's free trade of the week. My name is Eric, and today is Monday, June 8th, 2015. And in this week's edition of Trade of the Week, we're going to take a look at an option play we put on today that could actually double our money in the, in, in the next 11 days on the SPX. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more technical analysis videos and strategies. So let's take a look at the SPX and just the current state of the market. Obviously, since our last trade of the week, the market's really kind of dipped lower. Uh, but if you, you kind of look at what's been happening, um, I think we're kind of in this range bound thing where we have this retracement, we come back up, we get a retracement, we come back up, and now we've kind of got another retracement. Um, we did have a squeeze fire short today. For those that know what that means, that could mean that we have some more downside, but you can see the last few squeezes that fired, we had one that fired long up here, it pulled back and it just kind of fizzled out. We had another one dot squeeze here. It got a few days of traction, but really kind of couldn't get going. So I still think we're a semi range bound. We do have that 200 day moving average way down here, but you can see the last one, two, three, um, times we've kind of broken that 50 day moving average, which is this light blue line, um, the market sort of recovered and kind of went back up. So I'm still kind of looking at this kind of a range bound market. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is look at the open interest on the SPX. You can see we have 10 days left to options expiration for the SPX, 11 days for standard um, options. If you look at the SPY, um, you can see we have 11 days because SPX um, is a little bit different. Um, so on the SPX, there's a huge amount of open interest on the 2100 strike. This is, um, it, I mean, it really stands out here. You have open interest here, uh, over 140,000 contracts and calls and over 150, almost 160,000 contracts and puts. And, and a lot of times you get some pinning action or at least this can act as some kind of magnet, right? So what, you know, how do you play that? And one way you can play it is with a butterfly play. We actually chose a condor and with the condor play, we, um, it's a little bit different. It's very similar to a butterfly. So let's talk quick mechanics here. So the way a condor spread is structured is it's a four strike spread. And in this case, we bought the uh, the June, the 2070, right? Here's a position here. We bought the 2070 call. We sold an equal number of the 2090s and we sold an equal number of the 2110s and we bought an equal number of the 2130s, okay? Essentially what this comes down to is this bottom part where you're buying a call and you're selling a call. This is basically a call debit spread, okay? All right, pardon my uh, r slow writing here. Man, that's really sloppy. That's okay, you get it. Call debit spread, right? So if many of you know what that is. The other side where you're selling a call and buying a farther out of the money call, right? This position is kind of two position. This is a call credit spread, okay? So the amount of credit we receive for this call spread is less than the amount we paid for the debit spread. For net net, this entire spread cost us seven dollars and five cents. Okay, so we it's a net debit. So what I want to do now is take a quick look at what this looks like and how much can we make if we close at or near the twenty one hundred strike. So let's take a look at the analyze tab where I have one of these spreads. In here, this is um, this is a single spread, and I kind of broke this out just so we could kind of look at a single spread, so it doesn't confuse you. So again, uh, we paid seven dollars and five cents, and if you look at this, this red line is our risk profile, okay? And what we're looking at is remember we bought the twenty seventy. You can see that's uh, uh, indicated here. We sold the twenty ninety. We sold the twenty one ten. We bought the twenty one thirty for a net debit of seven oh five. So if at expiration by next uh, Thursday at expiration for the SPX, the most I can lose is $705 per spread. Okay. However, the most I can make if the stock, the index trades between 2090 and 2110 at expiration. Remember, we the open interest here is at 2100, right? So if we actually pin at 2100, this spread could go to 
almost $1,300. Now, reality says I'm not going to hold this till the last second of the day. I still think I can get, if we close um, by the by, you know, mid end of next week, the spread will be trading for somewhere close to $1,000. So my, my risk reward here is I'm risking $700 to make about $1,000 in about 10 days as long as the stock trades right about 2100 2100 is right here right now at right where the 50-day moving average is right so here i've kind of put this um i've drew this on the chart so we can kind of get an idea of what this looks like so obviously i need the stock to rally back up and that's kind of what i'm counting on with a condor or a butterfly or even an iron condor you really have a specific market outlook and my market outlook is that I think the 2100 strike is significant. I think we make a run back up at that. Now, obviously, I'm aware that um, things could get ugly and then I might have to change my plan and, and you know get out for this. Typically, with this type of trade, I would look at something like a 50% stop on this one. So I'm really risking about three or $400 to make that $1,000, even though the risk that I'm laying out is $700. Obviously, wake up and we're trading down here. Um, that's going to hurt the spread. However, I'm still looking at recent you know, price action and it tells me that once we sell off for a few weeks, we can at least rally back up to this area um, and then we'll see what happens. So hopefully you enjoyed the trade of the week and we'll see you at the next update.